That's right. <laughs> I got scrolling text now. <laughs> Anyways, um, before I start off today's video, uh, I want to say uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, the contest is almost over. April 21st is the last day of entry. And then I will start going over and picking out the people for the prizes. I also have uh, all other prizes to give away to for other people as little, hey, thanks for trying, thanks for entering, your feedback's nice, all that. So um, today's video is, as the text says, Goth Viaduct Pro. Uh, this was a Highlander match between my new team, Animal House and another steel team and it went actually quite well so what I'm going to do is go over with you what went through my mind at the time throughout the match so you guys can get a better understanding of competitive play it's not going to be perfect because this I didn't have the mumble comms record for this. If I did, it'd actually be easier to just review over again and again. But I do know what was going through my mind at certain situations. Uh, the little avatar that you will see down in your bottom right is what I wore. I wore a uh, Texas Slim Dim Sign Shome, Special Eyes, uh, the Exothermo, and then I used the basic shotgun, pistol, and gunslinger. It is a uh, King of the Hill map, so the range wasn't very necessary. The enemy engineer runs the Wrangler, which proves to be a bit of a downfall for him later on in the games. So, without further ado, let's bring up the screen here. I have my demo box in behind my face, so you guys can't see it. And I have my Pyro's crotch in my face. Good on me. So let's get this game started. Oh, whoa! That's not what I want. Nope, not 200%. I want 100. There we go. At the start, once again, I drop a teleporter. Teleporter entrances are always good. Uh, I want to get a sentry out on the flank so it's covered. I want that metal pack, but it's too, too ignited out there. Many sentries blocking off everything. The enemy team's there. I want to be able to keep. I call out this jumping soldier and where he went. I know I'm too hurt to actually fight him. And it's up to my team to escape. We call a fallback. And we, we just got caught out. We're getting ready. We want back in. And we want to do it right. So I'm just there, giving covering fire as much as I can. Take a sticky to the face, it's fine. I call out the demo on that he's lit. Their medic gets caught out, ours picks him up, and we're back on track. So we connect with our pyro. I check to see if any spies are hiding there. We get set up. I pop down the dispenser, the team's getting me healing, put down a mini. I'm looking for any guns on the field. I gotta scan, make sure there's no weapons, because any weapon can be used for me or for the spy. I want to take it over the spy, unless it's my spy going for it. If it's my spy, it's fine. Now, I know there's nothing else major going on, so right now I want to get a level 2 dispenser up let our team be able to get healed. I used the spare metal that was on the ground from the destroyed sentry. Every bit of metal is extremely powerful. So you want to be able to maintain a sentry and a presence, especially as engineer. They call that a bomber. He got caught out between me and my pyro, which was perfect. Our snipers up top, above us, on, ch on ch what we call China, which is the plank and the main building. Uh, they're watching out, getting headshots. I see that sniper dot, and I immediately just 
back down. Just, I'm not going to be able to do anything against that. The dispenser comes quite handy. The team keeps getting healed while the medic's away. Now I get this teleporter set up. We need this teleporter, and this teleporter will get us to the front lines faster. One metal short, I'm backing out as best as I can, leaving the health pack. Scout ends up taking the metal by accident. Uh, that's fine though. I want to keep myself alive just as much. I get metal for a sentry, I pick up another gun. I call the heavies on the cliff. Immediately the team is completely aware. The heavy had dropped down. And then I go and I move my gun up in an area where they're not going to have an easy reach. My gun is there to pester them so they turn towards it and not towards my team. If they're towards my team, it's bad. And notice that I do not pick up my sentry. I destroy it. Which is the proper thing. It's faster to drop a new sentry than it is to carry that old one. I pick up more metal. Team needs a dispenser. I need metal. Dispenser, dispenser is the perfect thing. I keep an eye out. Making sure no spies are behind me. Always have to be aware. Knowing your field and knowing where things are. Team needs something on the flank, I go bring my mini, catch the scout off guard. I hear a death to our heavy, I back out. Because in the kill feed it says sniper shot. Our sniper gets their sniper in a counter snipe. Which is excellent. Get metal, I call it the demo. And we pop Uber, we go in, I provide whatever support I can. I do chip damage as much as possible, and there goes our heavy again with backstab. And you'll see that the sounds of the ah and that you won't hear them as much because they're stabs and headshots only, and they have to be critical. And they're the only two weapons that can cause a force critical. So when you hear a scream, duck and look behind. Best two things you can do. So we've captured the point. We're holding it. We nearly lost 30 seconds there. That is cutting it pretty close. But we've run out their time. No more time for any more dispensers. I go full out, grab as much metal as I can, protect the medic, because the medic was going to be bombed. You're not as defenseless as you look. Your shotgun, 90 damage. I catch the spy out. Call him. Dead. Take his knife. I need a new gun. Blow it up. Drop it. And now we've got all of this going on. I run away. Get the health pack. I come back. I keep myself ready. I set up the last minute dispenser. It should finish building just at the last moment. Chip damage really helps. The soldier went down faster than he could. We're holding Uber, waiting for them to push onto our point. And as soon as they walk onto that point, they have to fight an Uber. So their choice is us or the Uber. And this is where, as an engineer, you become a choice maker. They have to choose. Do they want you, or do they want something else? I call it the spy. We rush them. We counter them. I use my pistol for chip, since I'm low on shotgun shells. Drop a new sentry forward. Medic tops everyone up, but finishes off the last of his Uber. We stand on the point, keeping everything off it, and not allowing their time to grow. Great first round, cut it very close, but that's the typical round. At the start, crouch, allow our medic easier aim for the demo for healing. Drop a teleporter. This time I roll out left instead of right, because right took me too long to roll out, so I switch up. This time I get up there a lot faster. I get my sentry out. Our spy picks up the metal. He gets caught by the pyro. But he gets away. 
I go. Our soldier's like, give me the health, give me the health. I'm like, I just want the medal. He's like, okay. And we just continued on. Um, Penn did really nice calling out that he needed the health, even though I didn't need it at all. I get a teleporter up. Uh, our medic, Grumpy, is doing well. He's not being cut out in his sight lines. Uh, Bunny, our pyro, doing really well at spy checking. Because we need that. We know where they're spamming from, and we're just trying to keep the pressure up. I drop a new gun, I call out a soldier bomb, and I call out stickies on the ground, which I shoot down so our team, when they fall back, don't get killed by the stickies. You need to have that constant awareness of, there is stuff near us, where is it, how can you deal with it? As an engineer, for me, it's... If I see a sticky on the ground, I should shoot it if, because my team's going to be looking forward. I jump over, pick up the last of my metal, spy runs forward, but it costs them. I see the heavy's weapon, pick it up, drop a sentry, and we called fallback. I just was distracting the demo, pushing him back because he overextended, and I was giving cover until they walked behind. Our heavy was able to catch their heavy out because their heavy got distracted by the mini sentry behind the wall. However, our heavy goes down. We got headshot. They call Uber. We counter. Dodge the grenade. He is using the iron bomber so there is no rollers. I ended up touching a sticky it happens, I saw it the last moment, it's like, it's too late, let's get a debit, or nothing's gonna happen. We got the point, I push a forward sentry to cause an alert, so if they come cliffside or up that middle, they will be caught out. I pick up the weapon, sp uh, spy can't use it. Downtime, time to build up dispensers, teleporters, you want to make sure your team has accounts going. I move back and forth so it makes it harder for any spy who may want to try and come and get a backstab. But if he does backstab me, I can call out to my team immediately and they'll know, turn around, there's the dispenser. So we get a full level 3 soldier bombs. Our sniper takes them out. Amazing. I call out the spies in the house. I set down a new teleporter, our sniper is now aware of him and he's on the lookout. I see the sniper dot and call out he's on cliff and our spy picks him up. The scout comes behind for a flank, gets cut out. They pop uber, I'm out and the spy gets a stab so I let him go, he's cloaked. I, I'm not going to chase him down. Our entrance went down, however, so since we're in the downtime, I'm quickly running back to put down just a level 1 entrance. I call out there's a spy at the dispenser. The dispenser team will deal with them, they catch them, and then I come back, I gotta get a new dispenser set up for the team. And that's a big warning sign to all of them. I back up getting caught out by the heavy. It's fine. If the heavy catches me, I'm dead anyways. So, it was just unlucky that I was backing up from a scout. However, my mini's still causing a, a shield for the team. Since I'm at spawn, I'm leveling up to a level 2 teleporter. 5 seconds versus 10 is really detrimental. So, you gotta keep it up. If you keep that at a level 2, that your heavy, your soldier, all your stuff. We call out that the, the spy was in the house, and we caught a soldier out because of it, which is really nice. I get caught stuck in the house. Notice that I am not replacing a teleporter. I know there's enemies out there, and I know if I need a mini sentry, I can destroy and pop a new one. I drop a new one out just in case someone decides to come around the corner. I use the window to look to see where people are. If you have the sight line, 
you'll be good. I blow up my sentry, pick up the spare metal, head, drop a new sentry down. I give it an awkward angle for them to try and shoot at. I come in, I drop, the, drop it since I had no metal. I kill the engineer and his mini. Pick up a metal crate, help cap the point. Put up a forward sentry, pick up the metal again, destroyed metal, pull up the metal pack for a hundred, drop a dispenser down, the team's going to be fully healed, then I make sure that there's no spy around, spy gets cut up by our pyro, I call it the heavies on cliff. Watching that kill feed can become really powerful of a tool, especially when it comes to your gear. Their engineer put down a mini and, and tried to shotgun at me. Long range shotgun is not going to do much. So we're, we're, we're watching each other's backs. We're counting down the spy's respawn time. We know it's 15 seconds. I know my team is on the left. I want my sentry on the right. Team goes right, sentry on left. Always want your sentry gun to be on the other side. Here I hit a call out key by accident. That's fine. I drop another sentry. I fall back to the dispenser. Sentry gets blown. New sentry. You need to keep your sentry up as much as possible. And the more you can, the better. It was a great second round. Once again, close match back and forth. Way a good one goes. So this time, I get a whip off on me, which allows me to go faster, however, the speed effect died before I even got a full use out of it. it happens, just don't be disappointed. So once again, since that first time worked, I drop it, I get caught out by the heavy, but in the same time I blink the spy and I call out to spy along the cliff side. My team's aware that that's where the spy is going to be. Our demo is helping build Uber. I move back out again with my soldier. I want to be near a class that can help me fight. We meet up with our medic. I get a mini sentry up for pestering reasons. It gets taken out. So I go drop a new one. Back away, grab more metal. I want to be fully aware of my ammo packs at all times. And Uber was called. I move out, don't want to be caught in the uber, my mini picks up anything that comes through that gateway, I move out, drop a mini because I know they went forward towards our spawn, they come out, they get damaged and heavily lit, I call the heavy on the cliff with the combo, my team immediately picks up that and I switch over to the flank being our back route, I want I'm trying to bait that scout into the line of our sniper. The mini sentry is there to help cover the sniper. The sniper helps cover me. It's all in the teamwork. The scout goes to try for the sniper. I call out the mini sentry above the cliff. I back out. The medic gives me a quick top up. I pick up health pack. Back into the action. I've got metal. We're holding forward again. I grab the metal pack and drop a new sentry. I'm low health. I drop a sentry on the flank to run towards the health pack. I pick up some more metal. Always keep yourself up. Metal management is a big key piece. We have people down. I gotta build a dispenser. This is our lull time. Pick up more metal. Our heavy gets stabbed. You should have heard that scream. I plop down. I call the snipers on China. Our sniper immediately takes aim towards that area. And with their sniper that way, it, it's better because our sniper knows where he is. Makes it easier. I drop a new sentry. I back out. They, we call that they got close Uber. We back out. I call a spy without the dispenser. So we know a spy is nearby. I drop a sentry. I don't want this spy having this metal or this health, so I come and take it myself. Now once again, I bait the scout. I want him up at the gun. 
And if he points at the gun, he's not pointing at me. I spam my pistol at him, get a 10 shot, he comes back again, and he meets me with a soldier. So he has to back out. He doesn't want to be any part of that. And he knows that if he tries to get near his mini sentry now that it's fully deployed, it's going to be tough on him. Since we're pushed back, I build a dispenser where we can get some space. And I try and rotate around. Soldier gets a scout. And we start losing stuff. And I get caught up by a heavy, but the heavy gets caught up by the spy. Which is a great exchange. A heavy for an engineer is definitely worth it. Because that heavy does a lot of cleanup work. And if he's caught out, it will kill him quite a bit. So, we're pushing back out. We say, regroup, recover. I call out Sniper China. Point. You saw that Machina shot, so you know where he's at. I back out, get a sentry down, I try and bait the soldier into it. I do get a bit of a bait, and I call it the soldiers on our flank. Our pyro goes over to deal with them. We catch out the scout as well. And we call Uber. We decide bum rush. But uh, it didn't end up the way we wanted. So, okay, we calm down. We go, okay, let's do this. We got this. I drop teleporter once again. That teleporter's key. It, if the enemy had no teleporter, we probably would have done a bit more. So this time, go up. Didn't work this time. So I back up. Then we plant the mini sentry. We bump the spy. We know that there is a spy around. We don't fully know where he went. So we just call out spy near house. So we know that he's in a general vicinity. Sentry goes down, I pick up the metal, need that ammo, get mini sentry down for pestering, I cover myself with a mini sentry to get out, I call that the soldiers on the flank, we catch their engineer trying to use it, and we walk in, and we start taking the point back, they call Uber, we back out. Immediately, our soldier's waiting just to bomb on them, and he ends up getting punched by the fist of steel heavy. But I will, I start over extending. I say, No, I'm back out. Sentry, grab metal. Team needs a, a dispenser now. We know where the spy's at and what he's disguised as. I'm just quickly checking my back, making sure no metal's gone. We want to make sure he is away. Our time's down. We call out soldier on the flank. Then heavy comes in with the medic. Drop a new mini. Call out the snipers on cement. And our sniper is taking out their minis. Our scout picks up their sniper. Their demo is still using the iron bomber. I get their engineer to come over towards me. And I end up getting killed by the soldier, but our soldier ends up finishing him off because of that damage. With all this teamwork going on, we're managing it. I'm using our heavy's eyes as my eyes. So anything that they may miss, I catch. I had a little glitch there for a second, and it's okay, back in action. I drop a mini, cover the flanks so our medic gets somewhere. I pick up new metal. I drop down a teleporter. We need this teleporter and we need it now. I move, rotate. Our soldier picks up the metal. It's fine, it happens. I go, I grab the small ammo pack so I can get a mini down to cover the connector. So that way, if a sniper tries to do it, our spy picks up the metal. I'm in desperation for metal, so I decide to use my dispenser and use this time to fully upgrade it. 
but I hear them coming in, so I stop on the upgrade and switch over to building and storing the metal. I call it spice on our concrete. Our heavy catches them out. Their engineer tried using the Wrangler. In exchange, he got his guns pistoled down more times than he should have. And it left him open. So I upgrade this to a level 2. I leave my dispenser at that. Our mini sentry picks up the scout, but we do lose our sniper. And since they're not paying attention, I drop a new mini in the connector. I drop a mini to retreat. I don't want this heavy coming after me easily. I help our scout do as much chip damage to that heavy as possible. I call a spy scout. He gets caught. He came back too early. Got caught in the lane. I call it snipers on cement. I get covered with Gerardi. Our team push forward, so I'd rather be with our team than caught back. I put the forward sentry up, and we're trying to keep ourselves going. I want to build this dispenser faster for our team. And I spam towards the heavy. They pop Uber and call again. Their engineer thought running towards my sentry would have been the best idea with the Uber. However, he didn't manage to finish it. So he ended up costing a lot of time off of that Uber. Soldier bombs in, gets killed. That was another great round. Doing good. And that's the end. So, overall, the key points to playing in a competitive scene is your teleporter can win your games a lot more and become a high priority target. In Koth, you want to keep your mini down on the flank, which is the opposite of wherever your team is. If your team is on the right, you want to be on the left. If your team is on the left, you want to be on the right. If your team's in the middle, you want it so your sentry can cover as much as both as possible, but you can set down your sentry on one side and you go the other. It's an alarm system. Think of it that way. Spy zaps it, alarm. Someone kills it, alarm. You know where your gear is. If you call it out, your team's going to be, okay, he's over there. Okay, he's over there. He's behind us. It's the ultimate alarm system. You are an alarm. Because, especially if your team listens and hears, spy zap in my, immediately your team's going to be, let's turn around. We've got a spy. And your pyro should definitely turn around at that point, and at least two others. Three versus one, you're usually going to win more often than not. Now three versus one heavy, all light classes, and he's got the best tracking ever. Yeah, you're probably going to die, but that's not the point. Just remember, you are an alarm system. You will help your team more often than you really know about it. And you aren't weak. You can combat people. It doesn't matter if you're using a gunslinger or not. Your sentry's there for cover, and you can help in any firefight. Pistol, shotgun, wrangled sentry. You are a combat fighting class. However, you're not the strongest. You are there to assist in the firefights and catch people off guard, such as the spy that came out of cloak and he's like, oh crap, engineer found me. That's not good. Or, oh, he saw me cloak out and he called to his team. Of course. Because when I'm shooting at him and I call out to my team, his choice is run back to his, die by me, die by my team. He, he has to choose death or escape. And for him, he chose to try and escape and come back too early. And uh, he, he ran Dead Ringer the whole time after his few Invis-Watch accidents. So it, it, he, he tried, but he could have kept switching every so often just to throw us off. Because we knew Dead Ringer, okay, Dead Ringer, six seconds, five, four, three, two, one, he's decloaked. Okay, get ready. He's going to either sit back for a couple more seconds for more metal, 
or he's going to come out immediately. All this stuff equals out to great timing. In competitive, it's all about tracking and timing. Positioning is a great deal of it too, but if you can't get basic timing down, you're going to die just as fast without the tracking or positioning. So, if you want to get better, I suggest trying a few things in public games. If the enemy has a medic, count how many seconds till his uber. Minimum of 40, 32 for Crits Creek. Maximum, it'd take him about a minute because of pocket shoved up a heavy's butt. Or try tracking a spy. See how long it takes him to get back to you and his basic tra from his cloak. Once you figure out what he actually has, count it. If he's on a dead rear, count the time that it'd take him for it to decloak. Then count how many seconds it takes him to come back. Because odds are he'll repeat the same thing over and over again. That's when he'll catch you off guard, is when he changes his timing. So if he comes back every 10 seconds and he decides, okay, this time I'm just going to come back in 5 seconds, that's what will really get you. So if you j just practice it, watch your scoreboard. Everything adds up and it works. Trust me. And th this is all great advice, and I hope watching this game with my commentary gives you a bit more insight. So, thank you all for watching. Let's build something in the next one.